Jesse, Patrick, and I made a final trip to Dollar Tree on top of that trip that we made before, Patrick and Sadie and I made before. And we also went to Five Below, which is, I don't know if that store is all over, it's a store we have here in Michigan. And I've also, I'd also gotten some chocolate bunnies at Meyer before we went to Dollar Tree and saw how much stuff they had there, because this is really my first time doing Easter at Dollar Tree, which they had so much stuff that most of the kids' basket stuff is from Dollar Tree, and all of the stuff that I put in the eggs is from Dollar Tree. And then the boys did get a couple of the like PJ Masks eggs at Dollar Tree, or no, at Walmart. And then they found more of them today at Five Below. And then, and for those who don't know, Five Below is a store where everything is $5 or less. So it goes, most of the stuff is between one and five dollars like one two three or five dollars usually i don't think i saw anything in there that was actually four dollars i'm sure there's there's probably stuff but anyways getting sidetracked i think that's pretty much where everything comes from and so i wanted to do a little easter basket reveal this is what the kids are getting for easter this year and i pretty much went with candy this year because they love candy and i'll start with sadie's basket which is oops, I Sadie's basket, she picked out she, hers, she already had this, but it's a superhero panel that she wanted to use for her basket this year, because we have a lot of baskets out in the garage. And so this is the one that she picked that she wanted to use, and she is getting a pink bunny, because Patrick, that was all Patrick. Patrick wanted everybody to have a toy, and so that was from Dollar Tree, and um, like little M&M-like candies from Dollar Tree. There are some carrots in there. A marshmallow bunny. Also, that was in a pack of marshmallow bunnies from Dollar Tree. Some branches, jelly, what is it, jelly bird eggs, I guess they're calling them. Bubbles. Sadie's nine, but she's crazy about bubbles still. Uh, she is the only one who bought this. She got erasers because she would think they were cute. And then a Cadbury egg which she helped me pick out. She helped me pick out like half of this stuff. A giant sweet chick, a giant like marshmallow chick. This chocolate bar. And a bunny that she actually picked out. A ballerina bunny. That is Sadie's Easter basket, Easter basket. They don't quite stand up very well on the duvet, as you can tell. Oh, where's her duck? She has a duck. Oh, okay, and she also had this duck that got put in Tessie's. A chocolate duck. A hollow milk flavored candy duck that Sadie also was involved in the purchasing of. That was from Meyer. Okay, so this is Maggie's. And Maggie's is, you guessed it, mermaid basket. And I think Maggie's is actually totally identical to Sadie's, so we don't really have to go through everything in it. Just the basket is cute. But everything in the hers is exactly the same. Except, yeah, even the bunny. She even has the same little bunny right here. So their baskets are totally identical, except for the actual basket. And the duck's going to go right there, because it doesn't fit. Some of them have slightly different stuff. Patrick, because Patrick is obsessed with Catboy. And I asked if we could do different baskets because like nothing is fitting in this thing because the back of it is so narrow. Like there's no way bunnies or the chocolate bunnies can fit in this or the duck. And he insisted that he needed Catboy. So that is why this is his Easter basket. And he basically got the same thing. The only difference I think in his is that he is getting this blue bunny ornament that he picked out at Dollar Tree because he could not live without it and it was lonely and it needed a friend or something like that. It was on the video. <laughs> it was on the video from that Sunday, Day in the Life Sunday. So this is the different thing that's in Patrick's. He also got a little stuffed bunny but he has since absconded with that stuffed bunny. Oh and his his candy duckling is yellow instead of white chocolate, uh, white candy. I don't think they're chocolate. I think it's his candy but they look like chocolate to me. So that's Patrick's. Oh, and his his bunny is a race car bunny instead of a ballerina bunny, but he has the same little shirt. 
And then James has the gecko one, which we have already had drama over this because he has asked for it about five times since I made the baskets because usually he carries this around and I tried to convince him that maybe he could use the duckling because he loves ducks. He could use the duckling basket instead of this basket and he insisted that he needs the gecko basket, that he understands that he won't have it till Easter and because I apparently decided to do I decided to do this early this year because every other year I am like scrambling on the night before Easter and so this year this year I'm doing it early. This is weird holding this next to my face. Anyways, so he wants it back, but he then insists that he has to have it for Easter so that I should take it back. So it's it's a little back and forth with the three-year-old. And his different toy is this frog that Patrick picked out because when he sees frogs, he thinks they're geckos and he gets all excited. So that's why he has that. And he has the exact same bunny as Patrick because Sadie picked out their bunnies. And it's a bunny in a race car. You already saw. And then there's T T Tessie. Tessie's the only one who got a new basket this year. This basket was $6 at Walmart, which I feel like was kind of a good deal because it's like a big fluffy basket. I just, I really like it a lot. And I think it was like less than I paid for the other, some of the other baskets. So it is maybe one of my favorite things that I got for Easter this year. This was Walmart, the Walmart Easter basket there. And what is in her basket that's different from the others is she's getting this little white bunny and the other thing, and James is already spotted and is a little bit jealous of this, so maybe I'll share. I guess he shares. This little Easter book that we found at um, Dollar Tree. We found the Easter book, I think it was it Dollar Tree today? We found the Easter book today. No, it wasn't Dollar Tree because it wasn't a dollar. We went to three stores today. Did I get, did I get this at? I'm not really sure. <laughs> so this little Easter book that I either got at Toys R Us or Five Below because it definitely wasn't only a dollar. But yeah, because he's a little book. And she has this little, she has one of the little white candy things. And all the rest of her food is, treats are the same. Because Tessie can put away a chocolate bunny. Oh, also, I did get her a smaller chocolate bunny because I was picturing the mess. But it's still a pretty big chocolate bunny for a, you know, one-year-old. And those are our Easter baskets for 2018. And I'm feeling very organized right now that they're already done with, you know, a whole, like, I think 17 days until Easter. And that the Easter eggs are already put away because usually I'm scrambling. This was the rest of, this was mostly Dollar Tree. No, it's like a mix. Okay, so this was Dollar Tree. We got some of these to dye the eggs with. We'll see if they help with the messiness. We'll, I imagine we'll probably get a little bit more dyeing stuff. Maybe we won't need it. I think I got two of these, but I'm only finding one right now. I specifically remember buying at least two though so that Patrick and Sadie could each have their own because I imagine they will probably be the two doing the dyeing egg. Maybe James too because he's going to want to do it if they are. If I do it before he goes to bed and James and Patrick go to bed at the same time so I guess I'll probably need more. But yeah, so these are, this is what we're trying to dye our eggs with this year. And then at, I got these at Five Below and I got three different colors because I don't learn. I should have gotten them all exactly the same. Like, have I not met my kids? You got three that are like, I should have gotten three in yellow and then no one will fight over like who has the yellow one and who has the pink one and who has, I don't learn. <laughs> I everything the same. I was like, oh, James can have the yellow because he likes ducklings, but it's gonna cause probably drama. And then Sadie got, Sadie picked these out for decorating eggs too and we'll see how that goes. A little gem decorating kit, kit. And this we found at Dollar Tree. Close dollar. And then these, and um, then we have the three buckets of eggs, which I think are enough because I'm not really sure whether or not Maggie's gonna be into it this year. Some years Maggie is like all about the eggs and the egg hunt and other years Maggie is like totally disinterested in the egg hunt. Like last year she was not even about it and I imagine James will be this year though, so we should at least have three that are interested. I I don't think Tessie will care. Hopefully Maggie will care. There was, when Maggie was like 
three and four she figured out that the plastic eggs had candy in it and she zoomed around the yard like top speed avoiding we had real eggs and plastic eggs out in the yard and she avoided all of the real eggs and only went for plastic eggs like as fast as she could and left the real eggs for Sadie so we'll have to see if it's here like that again and that will be on the vlog I'm sure so hit subscribe so you don't miss it when we do the egg dying I'll have to bring James just for that because James brings the drama James brings the drama in any situation <laughs> <laughs> with the getting like going from like I love you mommy to like being furious at me like a three year like only a three-year-old can in like 0.2 seconds I'm back to like I love you mommy again it's super happy so yeah hit subscribe so you don't miss out on our egg dying adventures and other family fun and that is it for today we will see you tomorrow